Why are you here? The girl asked. She was a 10-year-old girl, Fabiola, sitting quietly at her desk. As an orphan in Haiti, she was used to seeing groups come and go to her classroom. Her teacher translated the words from Haitian Creole to English. Why are you here? We stood in front of Fabiola and the other girls in the classroom. As nine members of Ohio Wesleyan, including students, staff, and faculty, we were on a week-long service learning trip to this orphanage where we would organize and inventory their medical supplies, paint the domes that were recently built to house more girls, help the children practice their English, and simply spend time playing with the kids. But when Fabiola asked, why are you here, she did not want a list of our service activities and what we felt we would accomplish while we were there. And the reality was that we would get as much, if not more, out of the trip as we would give. We would learn about Haitian culture and history. We would learn about community organizing and hear from local activists and leaders. We would learn about everyday life in Haiti and see some beautiful parts of the island. But the deeper, more profound lesson of our experience there and a key reason of why we were there was our own privilege. We were there in part because we could afford to be there. We could make that choice to serve, to give our time, to be rewarded with feeling that we helped someone out. Fabiola and the other children in the classroom did not have the same kind of choice to make. They would continue facing the hardships of everyday life at an orphanage in Haiti when we had gone. If we were successful, we would have improved a couple things at the orphanage, helped brighten some of the kids' days, and keep going back. But by coming face to face with our own privilege, we came to realize that we would not solve the problems that the children faced, or that the organization had in running an underfunded and understaffed orphanage. They did not and likely would not ever have the same kinds of choices that we were able to make. Now the privileges that brought us there came in many forms. In some ways they were shaped simply by us being born in a different part of the world. One of our students from the trip was from Nigeria though, and his dark skin color mirrored that of the children, but his wealthy class background enabled him to attend school in the United States and to participate on our trip. While I grew up in the working class, my skin color, my gender, have, have helped to give me privileges that have brought me to this place in my life. We all participate in systems of inequality, albeit in very different ways. We all experience certain kinds of privileges in our life and certain kinds of disadvantages in other dimensions of our life. By recognizing this, I think that we can, through listening to each other, better empathize with one another and learn across our differences. So why were we there? I remember being really uncomfortable in that moment because I was so immediately aware of that power dynamic in the classroom and my role of privilege in me being there. I was trying to be sensitive to Fabiola's question and aware that I couldn't just give an academic answer. So I remember stumbling over my words because of my discomfort, but I tried to sincerely convey that we were there to get to know them, to learn from them, and if we could be helpful at the same time, we would do our best. Thank you.